Well, just like groceries and housing prices, you may have noticed that your monthly car insurance costs are also on the rise. According to Bureau of Labor Statistics, auto insurance prices have jumped by more than 50 percent, and that's just over the past three years. Families are struggling to keep up with sky-high annual premiums, with some expected to top $20,000 this year. Jessica Hansen, Hannah, joins us now. She is the Senior Vice President of Public Affairs at American Property Casualty Insurance Association. A little bit of a mouthful. Jessica, thank you for being here with us. So uh, people are seeing this. I mean, I just got a premium renewal and thought it was really expensive and I'm considering switching. So what's behind these rising prices and what should people do about them? These are really big concerns. As you said, you're seeing costs go, uh, go up across the board. Auto insurance is one of those. So First and foremost, you have the inflationary pressures. That hits repair costs, it hits labor costs, it also hits medical costs. But there's one other really important factor that sometimes gets overlooked, and that is legal system abuse and what that means in terms of real consumer costs as well that's uh, having a direct impact on auto insurance. Can we like actually fraud? stay? Yeah, I want to say right there, you say legal system abuse, and, and I know that we've seen hacks that people describe online basically saying that they give false information to insurance companies or say that they won't add a newly licensed teenager. Why is that such a bad idea? Well, you've got the fraud, you've got the abuse as it relates to an individual policy, but I'm talking about something even bigger that's um, spanning across society right now. So we are just living in a um, time of just a more litigious society, more litigious culture. And so traditionally lawsuits have been the, the last resort, but increasingly we're seeing lawsuits become the first resort. And you see it in your daily life, lawyer advertising is just perpetuating this notion. You see it on billboards, you see it on TV, on radio, even on social media. So we saw a recent statistic that said uh, American families have been traditionally paying more than $3,500 a year per household because of this increase of cost, uh, increase in cost of services and goods, including insurance, because of this perpetual lawsuit abuse. So help us understand what tactically and practically, I love that phrase, we can do to lower our car insurance premiums. Absolutely. Safety is first and foremost. Slow down, put your phone down, buckle up. Over the past four years, we've seen a dramatic rise in the increase of crash frequency and severity. Um, number two, in that same sphere of auto safety, talk to your insurer about some of the technology um, tools and apps that are available to help drivers. One, usage-based insurance. You drive less, you can pay less. Mm -hmm. Two, there are also telematic tools and apps that help you um, monitor your driving. And so it can give you tips for how to be a safer driver, can help you understand, uh, bring more transparency mm -hmm. and control over your daily life and your auto insurance, as well as your, um, your driver safety. Right. And that's particularly helpful with parents with teenage drivers. And then number three, I would just say, shop around. It's still mm -hmm. a very highly competitive marketplace. Okay. And there could be um, better coverage out there for you, better prices. But I would also say that um, talk to your insurer first because there could be discounts and other incentives you might be missing altogether. That's what I'm going to be doing. All right, Jessica Hanson-Hanna, thank you so much, Jessica. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Jessica.